Okay, here's the deal, right? Given the nature of what I do for a living, sometimes I get asked questions in my DMs or in comment sections underneath my content where parents are asking for advice or tips about something to do with their parenting life. And today's video is answering those questions. Kind of. That is because in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you my top five dad hacks. But first things first, Rocket has just woken up from his nap, so we're gonna go get him. Up the stairs, up the stairs we go. Let's see what he's up to. Oh, hey there. What you doing? You being a sneaky sausage? There you go, now you can see. Oh no, you fell over. What happened? You okay? Uh, uh. Uh. Do you want daddy's hand? Yeah, hello. Whoa. I think it's time to change your nappy. And this I think is good timing at this point. And the reason for that is because this scenario brings us on to dad hack. <laughs> Number one. <gasps> and if you've watched my TikToks before, you will know that this is the kind of connoisseur moment for me because we're gonna talk about changing nappies. Connoisseur moment, who am I? Anyway, we're gonna take his legs out of his output. Uh, uh, some bad it, bad it. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't laugh like that when you're older. Oh my god, it's gonna be so awkward. Anyway, we take off the previous nappy. Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan, Khan. Waste disposal of said nappy. That was awkward. Hold on, dad act number one. Nappy in hand, arms go in the leg holes of the nappy. Easiest thing to do is grab each leg, bam, bam. Pull them through the holes like that and bish bosh bash easier than trying to fish their legs through while they're kicking and screaming and squirming and worming. Nappy goes on in a jiffy, and just like that, dad hack number one. And before we go any further on this video, we would love it if you subscribe to our YouTube channel if you don't already. If you enjoy this content and you enjoy the stuff that we make on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and even on our podcast, shh, don't tell mum, then please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you get all of our notifications when we upload. We absolutely love making this content for you and we want to continue to do it in the future, so you subscribing really helps us out. Enjoy the dad hacks! And funnily enough, dad hack number two is actually more of a piece of advice from me than anything from the parent of a one-year-old to you. You notice that this outfit contains poppers. So when dressing, it's just a pop, a pop, and all that good jazz. And this dad hack centers around, why not just make your life easier? Where possible, please just get onesies with zips. It just makes life so much easier when you're dressing them and all you have to do is, thanks very much, bye. Off we go on a journey downstairs. Ooh. I nearly bashed the camera, what's that about? Okay, into the kitchen we go, we plonk you down. Hoya! Good boy. And this brings us on to dad hack number three. Majestically looks out of the window, not knowing what to say next. He just stares. Incoherently. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop doing that. It's a miserable day outside, isn't it? I mean, look at that. It's just gross. <laughs> Welcome to England. So I'm not gonna lie to you people. And you know, I would never lie, would I? But dad act number three is a little bit weird. Because dad act number three revolves around nails. When you have a kid, the time will come and it will come very quickly. But you'll need to cut their nails because they cut themselves in their sleep by scratching. It's also a hygiene thing. Imagine your kid crawling around the floor all day, every day. What gets under their fingernails? So this next one is kind of gross. So my next dad hack is actually for ease. Makes life easier, quicker, and it doesn't stress out your little one too much as well. <gasps> Daddy's got your dummy. Go with it in my pocket. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. He sometimes gets distressed by this, but worth it in the end. <laughs> Biting his nails. Senore, you going to sit here for me? Ready? A little demonstration. Mm. <laughs> and you can make it a little game so that it's not too distressing for them. So as soon as you bite it, make funny noises, play around. And yeah, this is gross for you. I'm not lying. <gasps> oh. <laughs> You've got so many boogers, oh my goodness. The nasty one is the toenails. <laughs> so I would say do this at your own discretion. And maybe don't tell the missus. I need to wipe your face, you're gross. Let's go get some wipes, cause he is gross. Come on. I need to wipe your face. Mascusi, don't run away from me, I see you. Ready? Okay, you ready? Okay. 
And I think we've got all that muck off around your mouth. How do you look now? Beautiful. Go on then. You mosey around. But yeah, that was dad hack number three. Excuse me? Oh yeah, you're on my phone. I do do do. Digga da da. Excuse me, that's my phone you're destroying. Ah, he's got a hold of the camera. So we've got two more hacks to go and this one is actually essential. And you know what? It links to what we've just done on this video. I'm gonna take you to where we stash, but I would say always, always have nappies and wipes stationed in every single room in your house. You'll never know when a poo explosion is gonna happen and you need the facilities to deal with it there and then at all times. So I can't stress enough, packet of nappies, packet of wipes in every room in the house. I say every room, we have one in the living room, his bedroom, my office, and our bedroom on the top floor. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> what are you doing with that wipe? Where are you going? <laughs> oh! How rude, you're littering. That's disgusting behavior. You're gonna pick that up? Excuse me, excuse me, sir. You're littered here, don't look away from me. Excuse me, pick that up. Take it and put it in the bin. <gasps> Disgraceful behavior. It's a good job you're so cute. My dad hack number five is actually something a little bit different because Rocket's not actually at the age where this would be an appropriate hack, but I've seen so many people doing this online and absolutely loving the strategy behind it and future-proofing how you want your kids to behave. And that is getting kids to do chores with you. Now Rocket's barely walking yet. He's actually taken a couple of steps in the last two days. So we're so close to him walking, but it's more about his level of understanding and his cognitive development, leading up to whether or not he'd be able to do chores, help out around the house and things like that. So if we make it fun, and if you can incorporate that into your day-to-day -day life with your toddler, that is a win. Da -da 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 -da. <sighs> He's so nuts. Da -da 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 -da. No, get off my phone. Jesus. Also, less screen time. I think we're learning this the hard way. But yeah, the fifth dad hack is just getting them to do the chores, but also enjoying it with them, taking part with them, and applauding them when they do it the right way or when they do it well, because then they will seek that approval each and every time. Where are you going? <gasps> I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, you little sausage. Don't run away from me. Ooh, so those are my five dad hacks, but I bet you thought that we were done. You were not, are we? Oh. There is one more thing that I would like to talk about that Jamie and I are instilling at quite a young age with Rocket. And I see a lot of parents, especially online, are tentative about doing this in the first place. But take your kids everywhere. Exactly! Make your kids part of your travel plans, not the central focus around your travel plans. You'll be worried about things like, is he gonna scream? Is he gonna nap? Do we have enough food? Do we have enough clothes? Do we have the right type of clothes where we're going, the climate? Where's he gonna sleep? Is there gonna be a travel cot? My advice is stop worrying about that. Get up and go. Your baby can feel your energy, so the more relaxed you are, the more relaxed your kid is gonna be. And the great thing in the long run is that they're gonna be really... <laughs> Are you gonna keep interrupting me, sir? And the great thing about it is they're gonna get used to traveling loads, which I believe is great for us in the long run. Yes, there are gonna be tantrums, but that is part of life and part of growing up. So the way that you approach it, if you approach it in a relaxed manner, they're gonna be able to wind down from it in a relaxed manner. Here's hoping. Let them experience those emotions. And that, I believe, was the greatest advice that me and Jamie received from a couple that we met literally when we were on holiday when Jamie was pregnant. They were avid cyclists and they said to us when they had kids, they just slung them on their back and they went for cycling trips and they just did it on the go. And we really admired their courage and their approach to raising their kids. And we absolutely tried to instill that with this guy by taking him almost everywhere, as you'll see next week. That is if you follow our socials on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Woo! All of those links to those social medias will be in the description below on this video. Thank you so much for watching, and those are my five or six dad hacks. Are you being sneaky? Are you sneaking around the house? <laughs>